my name is Finn Delaney and I'm a field archaeologist with Octra Archaeological Projects. Octra are an archaeological company that have been on the go for the last 16 years and have done archaeological projects throughout the country. Uh, we've also uh, been involved with community archaeological projects uh, and, one, and a lot of those involved historic graveyards. Um, and that's where the Historic Graves Project was born. It is a community-focused grassroots heritage project which aims to digitally record thousands of Irish historic graveyards and publish them. Um, local community groups uh, are trained in low-cost, high-tech field survey uh, and recording their own oral histories. Uh, we then create and unite them uh, through the website uh, into what we hope will form a, a national resource. Uh, Cameron O'Brien from the Department of the Environment wrote the Heritage Council guidelines for the care and conservation of historic graveyards uh, and he encouraged us to develop the multimedia elements of the graveyard service. Uh, this dovetailed perfectly with the hyper-local heritage teachings of Bernie Goldback from the Tipperary Institute and we incorporated their guidance into our system. Uh, the project makes use of uh, off-the-shelf, relatively low-cost technology, uh, such as smartphones, iPod touches, audio recorders, uh, and the power of these devices is used to, um, is harnessed to satisfy the needs of local communities who want to undertake a survey. Uh, the system is advocated by the project, uh, is demonstrated during our workshops, um, and flows from the fieldwork through to the data upload through to publication. Uh, everybody gets some hands-on recording experience and is introduced to a systematic method for graveyard survey recording. Uh, the, the survey system revolves around taking geolocated photographs of the memorial stones. Uh, primary names and dates can then be taken from the photographs, uh, which allows them to be searchable and findable. Um, standard forms are used to record details about the memorial stones, um, uh, including the inscriptions, uh, and these correspond with our data upload forms. Uh, techniques like low-impact rubbings and oblique lighting are demonstrated in order to read some of the fainter inscriptions. Um, the action then moves in the afternoon to a, a local hall or a hotel uh, where we upload some of that day's geolocated photographs. Uh, we use the recording forms to upload the details. Uh, so the information collected that day is published live to the Historic Graves website and immediately becomes uh, searchable and findable. Um, the website allows people to uh, freely uh, explore and search the growing database and allows communities to engage and publish surveys and the uh, related multimedia stories. Um, in essence, what we do is we register graveyards and within that we register the memorials uh, and from those we get the people. Uh, and then added to that, uh, the communities add their audio and video stories and attach to the graveyards and the memorials. Um, the data can be explored in various ways through lists of graveyards, through uh, lists of stories and through dynamic maps. It can be searched by name, date and place. But the website allows community groups um, to register a graveyard, access the database uh, and upload their own surveys and stories. Um, uh, this community in Ballymoney were ahead of the loop. They've published two books on their historic graveyard, one um, illustrating all the inscriptions and one detailing the stories. We went down, geolocated the headstones and record, re-recorded the communities telling their stories and they were both published live to the website. Uh, this is Margaret Corcoran who came on our very first workshop. She went away and bought one of these GPS-enabled cameras, recorded her own graveyard in Port Nahinch Hinch uh, in County Leash, um, uh, and we were delighted. Uh, she published it to the historic grave site. She then went a step further and gathered a group of local people into her home. I turned up with an audio recorder and recorded them telling stories about the people and the graveyard. And I think it's a great example of new technology empowering local communities. Um, historic graveyards are a much underutilized heritage resource. Uh, they are unique connectors between people and place. Authentic community created geolocated heritage media, which is a mouthful, but it can be harnessed to enhance uh, local community engagement, but also uh, can be used to draw visitors into the heart of local communities, uh, encouraging hyper-local tourism. The survey information and the recorded media can be distributed through traditional channels like these leaflets, um, but due to the geolocated nature of the data, they can also be uh, distributed across different media platforms. So using smartphone apps and augmented reality technology, the multimedia records can be uh, explored on-site in local graveyards in real time. Um, Philip Bromwell from RTE came to visit one of our communities in Inishnag in County Kilkenny. Uh, he recorded a piece for the 6-1 News uh, and he finished the piece, uh, wrapped it up beautifully. Uh, it's, it's the essence of our project really, local stories uniting to form a national resource with a global audience. Uh, and why do we do it? Uh, a lady in Perth in Australia got in contact with us. She had been to Barony Graveyard 12 years before, couldn't get in, was overgrown. She found the um, memorials of her mum's family, 
on our site. Um, she was delighted. Uh, and also, we sent that email on to the people that actually did the work, the community that did the work in Barony, and they were thrilled. Uh, so it kind of highlights the dual elements of our project, which is the community engagement uh, and also the tourism potential of these uh, unique places. Thank you.